Congressman Lee Zeldin speaking out after being attacked during a campaign stop last night. He is the Republican nominee for New York Governor. Linda Schmidt joins us now with more on Zeldin's remarks and how this incident is leading to a major call for action from the Republican Party. Linda. Yeah, that's right. Well, first of all, Congressman Zeldin says that he was on that stage when the man walked up to him, grabbed his arm, and then said to him multiple times, you're done. I noticed he had a weapon in his hand. Congressman Lee Zeldin describing what happened in upstate New York last night on a campaign stop. Zeldin is the Republican candidate running for governor. Videos taken by people in the audience show a man casually walking up on stage, grabbing Zeldin's arm and attempting to stab him in the neck with an object. When he lifted up his hand and he was lunging for my throat area, the first thought was to grab onto his wrist. He was telling me you're done. Several people, including Zeldin's running mate, Allison Esposito, pulled the man to the ground. Zeldin says at first he did not think the man was a threat because he was wearing a U.S. military veteran's hat. Zeldin is in the Army Reserve. It looked like he was going to fix something. Uh, in the, the sound device or something like that. This picture shows the suspect had what appears to be a keychain that looks like a cat with sharp pointed ears that is marketed for self defense. 43 year old David Jacobanis is an Army veteran who was deployed to Iraq in 2009. He was charged overnight with attempted assault and released. Zeldin says he was told Jacobanis was intoxicated and has mental health issues. He is criticizing the state's bail reform. I would argue that they're doing a disservice to the person who attacked us on stage last night. By law, they have to rush to get him released. Where's the help for him in that process? That's a good question. Also, Fox 5 attempted to reach uh, David Jacobanis today, but we were not successful. In the meantime, Governor Hochul released a statement condemning the attack. Lori and Teresa, back over to you. All right, Linda, thank you.